in this video, I wanna go over five reasons why a nerve can become irritated. So here's our lumbar disc model. Here's our stomach, backbone is over here, our two lumbar vertebra, and then the disc that separates the bones and leaves space for the nerve to come down and feed the leg. So we're gonna start from the bottom up. One way to irritate a nerve is through, we call this category non-mechanical. It's very rare. Uh, this are, these are people that have multiple sclerosis, possibly Lou Gehrig's, maybe a peripheral vascular problem. But again, this is pretty rare reason for a nerve to become irritated. The next one is thermal. If you've had a fever, recent infection, or an illness, your body temperature can rise up and that can also irritate the nerve. The next one is chemical. So if you have irritation right here that's bathing the nerve in inflammation, you'll have constant pain that is unrelenting, unrelenting and waking you up at night. And that means every second of the day. So again, these three here are a little bit more rare. These two are a lot more common. So tension on the nerve, if you've had trauma in your low back, then you can have scar tissue that chokes the nerve here, causes a tethering, and doesn't allow the nerve to slide and move how it should, and that can cause pain down the leg or in the back. So that's tension. Compression, which is probably the most common reason why we have irritation on the nerve, is basically something compressing the nerve inside the hole in which it lies. Now, what's most important is that in order to figure this out, you need a mechanical exam that moves you in order to figure out what exactly is causing irritation on the nerve?